God brings us sickness. Jesus gave me a sickness of incurable disease that causes my body feel sick and release bad odor. This happens when a soul willfully disobeys Jesus' commands, committing sin and not repenting. If we continue to go out of our own ways, we will fall to greater sins and end up allowing the devil to control us. Jesus has no choice but to bring sickness to chastise us, to get us our attention. It's like spanking a child when he doesn't listen to his parent and disobey him. Jesus does not like spanking us, nor hurt us in any ways. He wants to resort to gentle warning by convicting us and that we obey Him and repent right away. The longer we refuse due to laziness or tiredness to repent, the worse it gets. More demons will come hop into our body. As a result, we will become more naturally attracted to evil. The devil's objective is to get us farther away from Jesus and forget about Him completely. As a rescue mission, Jesus has no choice but to chastise us to bring us back. Jesus chastises those He loves. He may bring sickness of different kind for different people. The terrible smell coming from my body is causing problems at work. Also because other employees are noticing I smell terrible, it's so intoxicating. It's so embarrassing and I feel more terrible every day. Anyways, I got pissed off and said to Jesus, You get rid of my terrible disease then I will repent and obey you. It's harder for me to follow you and stay away from sin when I'm suffering from sickness you brought me. This has been going on for a few weeks now, and it hasn't worked. All Jesus did was cry every night when I'm at work or coming home and is afraid that I will ignore him and not to come to him to pray. I hurt Jesus a lot. I told Jesus, You feel you are hurt, but I'm hurt too because of my sickness, pain, and suffering. Did you know? It has not been going well. It has been a great loss for both Jesus and I. Despite our recurring sins or accumulated sins, and while it is so grieving to the Lord Jesus, He still wants us to come to Him every day to dwell with Him together. He wants your prayer. He wants your repentance. But with sins and repentance aside, Jesus yearningly wants our attention to Him because He wants our love. He longs for us. He longs to share our feelings with Him. He wants us to come to Him and speak up, not to hold grudge against God. Jesus is all about love, compassion, forgiveness, and hope. That's how our spirit and soul get restored. Jesus doesn't disregard us because we think He's mad, because we did bad things to grieve Him many times. Whether we did bad or not, He wants us to come to Him and share our thoughts with Him. He wants intimate relationship with us. Be with Jesus by using His portrait on your computer or print a photo of Him and hang it on your wall. 
You can also print a photo of him and put it in your wallet. You can get Jesus portrait in search under my YouTube videos or go to heartdwellers.org and click on Joy Comes in the Morning painting to obtain a copy. Jesus revealed to us that without receiving his affection of love and hope, we can't go on another day without being molested by the devil. The further we get away from God, the more sins will grow in us, and the greater we fall into the kingdom of darkness. Our faith in Jesus and His protection for us is what's keeping us living for God. Jesus says, Come to Him every day, and we, Jesus and you, will work things out to get rid of sins and follow His path or stay on His path. Jesus is our encouragement and Jesus wants our love and affection because we too give Him strength. Jesus is very emotional and can very easily get hurt when we do wrong. As for me, my body still smells terrible. I don't know when I will be healed from this. I'm still expecting to receive consultation from Jesus what I need to do. It's been a difficult and painful experience for me because of sin and chastisement from God. Jesus loves you.